Hi, I'm Jack Zucker, author of Sheets of Sound for Guitar. Today we're going to discuss the half-diminished chord and some ways of playing over it. I'm going to first take it out of the context of a chord progression and isolate it into just the chord by itself, as you'll hear in the following vamp. This is just a D minor 7 flat 5 chord by itself, not in a progression. And uh, a lot of beginning improvisers have a tendency to try to think of this as the 7 chord. And so they would think of this as the 7 chord in the key of E flat. And while there aren't any glaring wrong notes in that approach, it's really not the best way to think this chord. First of all, you want to learn the arpeggio for this chord. And then let's fill in the gaps. In between the arpeggiated notes, the question is, here's the root and the third. Well, what do you play for the second? In the E-flat major scale case, But you can hear the clash there. That doesn't sound very good. And so the choice of using an E-flat major scale for this chord, you can hear there's a, a conflict right there. What I like to play is the natural 9, or the natural 2nd. And, and so we take the arpeggio and add the natural 9. And we can fill in the 4th there. And if we keep going, we can either play a natural 6, but I prefer to play the flat 6, then the flat 7, and then the root. What we really have there is an F melodic minor. Now when I say F melodic minor, I'm talking about the notes in the ascending melodic minor scale, not the, not the classical A melodic minor, which would come down on a different scale than it goes up on. So the scale is this. And then, of course, you might ask yourself, well, let's see, if I apply some of the dodecaphonic principles that we were talking about in some of the earlier lessons, we know that F minor 7 is a synonym for a B flat 7, because, as you might remember from the earlier lessons, we can take any dominant 7th chord and put a minor 7th chord built on the 5th degree. Ergo, we can play a B flat 7. Of course, it's a B flat 7 with a sharp 11. And in fact, I can play some voicings that I would normally play over a B flat 7 with a sharp 11 over this minor 7 flat 5 chord, including some exotic chords like uh, this with a half step in there. Now another thing we can do is we can take the pentatonic scale and we can flat one of the notes to make it fit. If we take the, let's take a normal F major pentatonic and you see that it has the wrong note in it. But if we flat that note, And then 
know, I might throw the natural nine in there too. And then as long as we're thinking along those lines, how about if we just play the Pat Martino F minor lick over that? Or take force from the F minor Let's invert that F minor so that we end up with an A flat major 7. And let's play the A flat major 7 with a sharp 5. take the A-flat pentatonic scale, but of course that has that E-flat in it, but for the time being that's okay. And let's harmonize that in thirds. Remember, if you take a pentatonic scale and harmonize it in thirds, you're going to end up with some enharmonic force in there. All right, now let's look at it in context of a chord progression. We're going to take a D minor 7, flat 5, G7, and C minor. And what we're going to do is we're going to use similar logic that we applied to the other chord progression, except we're going to have to transition to something that outlines the G7 and then something that outlines the C minor, C minor 7. So let's hear what that sounds like. I'm using the F melodic minor down to the C minor. times I can stay on that F minor sound over the G7. Except I want to transition from that C to the B because that outlines the third of the G7.
Now here, I'm treating it as an D7 alt chord, which you can get away with in a movable chord progression. So I hope uh, I've given you some things to think about and some ways to approach that D minor 7 flat 5 chord. Um, of course, there's way more to, to it than just that, and there's a lot more applications, uh, which we can get into at a later date. But until then, this is Jack Zucker signing off.